These two dozen or so students were locked out of the school compound this morning at Nazarene High. Now, looking at them with their neat, closely cropped cuts, you mightn't guess that they were being kept outside for having hair that's too long. One of the issues there are certain things that is addressed in the, in the student handbook is the student's dress code and their, their, their attire and so on. And so this morning, you saw the consequences of not following certain rules that the school has in place. Um, due process was taken. The students were given a reminder first and then they were given a warning and so the consequences took place this morning. This father says he never got the memo. Check the book, sir. No, not in book, show me a picture how I had to cut my kid hair. They don't give me no style in a picture or something. So no, 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 what do you do? Will you let him go and get a lower haircut, take off the top of it, and just make it into one of those simple well, low haircuts? I, I want anybody here, no? I will cut it very low. To be honest, I'm in Fort Farm, right? So this will do a lot to me. Um, it's a lot of classes just for my hair step. So this has never happened in all your four years? Three years then. Never happened. But well, you've been here um, three years going into Fort Farm. But I know you should know the rules though. Yes sir, I do know the rule. And this is a new one. If it's decent then, and it's not making the school look bad, and we, we don't look like animals, then why should it be a problem? They said they just, no, no fancy hairstyle. No fancy hairstyle. This ain't a fancy hairstyle. Not fancy, but neither is it regulation. Personally, I went to each classroom and I had students with modeled hair cut stand up and we showed them a, an array of what we wanted, a display of the different types and the, and the level at which their hair should have been cut. Just one day before the school opened, sir, I sent my son to go to me here and, and I paid $15 for that. But now they want to make it, we go to pay another additional $15 just because they want our child look like them. That is, no, no, this is our uh, school, this is not a military component. A dispute about hair, but pretty soon the school called the cops to disperse the students who were at the gate still trying to get in. And the presence of the police caused some alarm. Was the police necessary um, to remove them? The police wasn't necessary to remove them. Um, but at some point in time, the students were, were gathering and so the head of the security for Nazarene High School felt as if though we had to call the police just to disperse the crowd. And so with that, it was pretty much game over for this crew who packed it up and went home, while others still tried to plead their case at the gate. But this student said he had learned his lesson. To be honest, I was being disobedient and didn't want not to cut my hair. Uh, now I'm out of class, so... That's it, that's it. So what would you do now? Now I should just obey the rules and cut my hair to the proper level and finish school. And while he did learn his lesson, there are still some hard feelings. To be honest, lately I think the school kind of races. Because if you notice, that my honest Spanish people, they had outside. They made them make the kind of skin people go inside. We had high hair. We had a fancy hair style. And they only made us stay outside. They have normal haircut. So today, today um, there were people who were both Hispanic and dark skin that were sent home? Yes sir, yes sir. Both of them were sent home. It wasn't a one-sided thing, like a racist thing only against Hispanic um, people? I would say like 20%, 20% black and... The rest, oh, so majority were Hispanic? Yeah, majority was Hispanic. At no point in time that was our target group at any point in time.